Hi, my name's Janice. I have a shopping problem. You're going to see this in the next three, four, five videos. Basically, I'm going to do a huge fall try on haul. Um, I don't really know whether to break this between stores or types of clothing with like athletic wear, outerwear. I, I just bought so much. I basically needed to revamp my wardrobe because I've lost over the last like year or so. I, I don't weigh myself, but I definitely lost some body fat or inches because nothing fits me anymore. I needed all different sizes. So I've donated mostly all my clothes. I, I literally have nothing. I dress pretty casual. And to work, I just wear um, like uh, basically like scrubs to work. So I don't really have that many fancy clothes. It's more casual, but I'll show you. I got some really good basic pieces that I wanted to show you guys. So what you'll see today is definitely not all of it. So if you like these types of videos, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. I'll try to link everything in the down bar. Most of it should be available just because I bought it recently. And yeah, here we go. So first up at Aritzia, I got a couple new jackets. I feel like if you live in Canada, you feel me. You need like three winter coats because you never know what it's going to be like in the morning. I mean, some days not too bad. The next day you're freezing your ass off. So um, the first one, and I've worn this maybe like four or five times. I've never got so many compliments on something. And I didn't even really think it's that special. But now that everyone's telling me how much they like it, I actually like I like it a little bit more but it's just the brand is Wilford Tree and it's just one of those like I kind of call it like a big fuzzy teddy bear bomber jacket and it is size let me see it's a size one so um, I'm not really sure of their sizing you can look on their website but I'm a size one and it's definitely like it's a little too big on me so I guess it's meant to be oversized but yeah, it's really, really warm, great for the weather right now, has a little zipper in the front, pocket in the inside as well for your phone and everything. Love, love, less. And um, I'll try to link all the prices and everything down below as well. Okay, next thing is another jacket. This one is TNA and it is a size extra small. So... I guess, again, this is probably meant to fit a little oversized because there's no way I would normally be extra small in anything. But this is the TNA, the super puff coat. It is, so again, it's black. It comes in a nice red, guys. Like, it's just kind of like a mid-length plain black coat. It is so, so soft. Like, oh my God, you just want to cuddle up with it and sleep. It is amazing. It also has... Um, when you put your arm in, it has like one of those little thumb holes, but the lining like where your wrist comes out is so soft and silky. It almost feels like one of those microfiber cloths that you use to clean your screen or your phone off, but it's even silkier. It's really nice. It's, um, it has a detachable hood. The hood is kind of flimsy though. I find a lot of them when they detach and they don't have the fur to give it some weight to the front. They're kind of flimsy. So I actually like it without the hood, but I wore it the other day and it was four degrees out. And I would say it's perfect for around that temperature, but I feel like you need something a little bit more heavy duty, like Canada Goose or Macage um, Moose Knuckles coat for Canada for like the really, really cold windy days. But this is a great coat for the temperature right now. Next thing, I got two pairs of the same leggings. I'll probably go back and get a couple more. I think they're only like 30 something dollars. I got them in size small. So I've definitely, like I've lost some inches around my waist. My legs and thighs always stay about, like they shrink a little bit, but my legs are really big and my waist is not super small, but just for reference, I measured it when do I measure it? Like a week or so ago. And I think right at my belly button, I just pull it, um, the measuring tape kind of tight. That's always how I measured it. And I think it was measuring around like 28.5 just for reference and I'm 5'9". So I got these in a small. And just so I should say, a lot, lots of the brands at Aritzia, they might have extra small or extra, extra small. So when I say I'm a small, 
just know there still might be a couple more sizes below me actually. So these are just um, a part of their basic line and the brand is Wilfred Free again. So these are a dark kind of like a charcoal gray and they're a high waist legging. They're not like I feel like maybe if you got them too tight they could be a little bit see-through but these were totally fine on me. For 30 some dollars the quality is really really good. They're super super comfy. I wore these on the flight to when we went to Japan and very very comfy for a long flight. And then I got the same ones in a navy. The navy I find were a little bit more see-through but still pretty good. They have black and a couple other colors. I'll probably just go get them all. Okay, and oh yeah, one more thing from there. I got, so again, it's Wilfred Free. I got this in a medium. I should have got a size small though. I was just, okay, so it's one of their like plain black, um, like the thong bodysuits. It's just a good basic to have. I feel though, okay, if you're kind of like me and have a bigger chest, you just how it's cut in the back, you could wear a bra, but I kind of, when I wear bodysuits, I don't like to wear bras. So I should have got a size small, so it just fit a little bit tighter to kind of like hold your boobs up. But if you have like fake boobs, really small boobs, just probably keep to your regular size. But the medium was a little loose when I tried it on, but I was thinking like, oh, you don't want a bodysuit too tight, but no like it's it's too big and it um i will say this stretches out when you wear it too so i definitely like it and it has a nice little scoop in the back but definitely i think size down okay on oh yeah one more thing from there sorry it's a little bit damp because i just took it out of the washing machine and yeah will food free again this is a size small this is just one of those like good basic black tees. So it's a size small, but you can see it's very wide and oversized and it's a crop t-shirt with a little pocket in the front and it fits so nice. The fabric is really nice and heavy. It falls well. It's just like a good everyday tee. You can also tie it up in the front or to the side because it's really kind of loose material. So you can do that really, really like this. I'll probably go back and get um, probably the white or if they have gray, I would like that too. And then, oh, what I was going to say with the bodysuit. Oh my God. I just saw my arm like jiggle. Okay. I really need to work on my triceps out. Sick. Yeah. Like my bicep is not bad, but then my tricep, ew. And don't worry. I got, I started laser hair removal today. So the little person that likes to always comment that, I'm disgusting and I have hair under my arms, which I don't think I normally do, but I apologize if I did in any video. Don't worry, I'm taking care of it for you. Okay, so this, okay, so I got this at um, Bloomingdale's in New York a couple days ago. So Good American is there, um, which is Khloe Kardashian's brand. And I'm gonna put up a try on video of the kind of like in the dressing room when I was trying it on. I love this brand, you guys. Like she knocked it out of the park. I also ordered uh, another pair of jeans online because they didn't have my size there. So um, they'll be coming soon. So I'll show you what they look like. But so this is one of her bodysuits. It is, so I think the sizing for her bodysuits goes like one, two, three, four, I think maybe up to six. Just double check on the website. So this is a cutout bodysuit. So it's cut out in the front. Same thing, thong back. I mean, I why do they even make bodysuits that don't have a thong back? Like, as if I want to wear that and then see like a panty line if you put a skirt on or jeans. Like, it, fuck. Like, honestly, disgusting. Okay, so it has um has adjustable straps. So you definitely you don't need to wear a bra with this. And also there's little cutouts on the side. It's really, really flattering. I love it. The material, you can tell it's a really nice, like silky, soft material. It's amazing. Um, a little pricey, but definitely like 
I really really like it it's a basic piece and it's kind of it's very her style like I know she likes wearing bodysuits high-waisted jeans her brands like it's perfect for her or if you like how she dresses perfect for you okay next thing what will I show you oh yeah this is just some easy stuff I've already put up a video about it so I have um, Probably like in a lot of like paparazzi pictures, you're gonna see Kim Kardashian wearing these jogging pants. These these are from the Calabasas collection. So they're like this, and then they're all like amazing, amazing jogging pants and a little like Yeezy bra crop top. But I won't talk too much about that. Go watch my other video. You can see a more in-depth review. Okay, next thing. Okay, this. I don't know how I feel about this like I don't know you guys can let me know when I try it on I ordered it online it's from aloe yoga and I almost feel like it's like a spaceman suit or something but it's a bomber jacket it's um it's like that reflective silvery material that everyone's wearing nowadays it's a size medium uh, has some zippers in the front it's a normal bomber I just don't it almost feels like you're wearing like tinfoil or something I just don't I don't know I'll show it to you guys you let me know if it was kind of expensive so I feel like if I don't wear it soon I might sell it if anyone wants it and then just a couple things from Zara and then oh and I'll show you some shoes too okay this is just a plane from that Zara the Trapalook line and it is size small it's just a plain black tee but it has some uh, little ruffling detail there. I think you'll be able to see it a little better when I try it on. Then, this is also size small. The same, same thing, the truffle luck, the, it's like their cheaper line there. It's just, uh, okay, this is a size small and this to me should be like an extra large, it's, it's huge. It's just like a basic, it has a little bit of distressing around the collar, um, wide arms, it's kind of low cut there, and a little bit of a drop hem at the back. Yeah, just another good basic. It's almost too, like, the small is almost too big though, and like, they didn't have any smaller that I saw. And one more thing. I got this because I saw, um, I'll link her channel below because I feel like, I don't know, her and I really like the same types of clothing. She's definitely fancier than me, but um, I feel we're in, probably in tops, we would be a similar size. So I always like to see what she wears it is, and her YouTube channel is just her name, Mary, Maria, sorry, Dragonova. I hope I'm saying that properly. I'll link her video down below, but she had this, um, sweater on and she said she got a size small so that's what I got it's just like an amazing big oversized gray turtleneck it's long um you can tuck it up in the front and yeah it's so nice and soft and cozy so I'll show you that in a minute next I'll just show you a few shoes I've been really liking Reebok lately so um I just got a pair of their these classic shoes what size I think okay so I'm usually when I just got my feet measured again and I'm usually between an eight and a half or a nine I'm pretty tall I'm five nine so my feet are pretty big and definitely my feet are I would say decently wide um, my one foot is wider than the other probably I would not recommend these shoes if you have really wide feet just because they do go to a little bit of a point they're okay if you're not wearing all day long but if I probably shouldn't have bought them I think I had them when I was younger that's why I wanted them again um, but my feet have definitely got a little bit wider over the years but nevertheless they're like a good um, basic white shoe these next ones though whoa <laughs> it's falling okay these ones are amazing though if you have wide feet uh, I got them at sport check they're really reasonable I'll link them below just a nice black and white one so comfy they're not really even that expensive 
And if you buy stuff at Sport Check, um, sign up for their online, their 10% off coupon. And then I have a similar pair. It's like in a cream color and white. Yeah, so these are good basics, both from Sport Check. And oh yeah, one more. Okay, I know a lot of people don't like Uggs, and I do agree. Like they're not the, I mean, not the best looking shoe, but realistically, you live in Canada. They're nice and comfy. They're great for wide feet. Um, I mean, I usually buy a pair every year, so I just got the short. I kind of prefer the short ones though, the short little black ones. And I'm a size eight in these. If you don't own a pair of Uggs, you usually have to size down a little bit. They kind of fit like Converse. Converse, I'm a size eight. At Aldo, I would be size nine. And I will just show you. Oh, these I actually I was gonna say I got from Softmop, and they had a family friends discount on, and I think you got twenty or twenty five percent off. So with tax and everything, I think I got these for one hundred and forty dollars, and regularly for two hundred, I think. Then okay, so I had already bought these because I thought my ones from last year were ruined, but I noticed the dry cleaner by um, our place. They do that, that professional UGG cleaning. And so that costs $40. I'll just show you guys. They just came back. Um, they look perfect. Pretty much perfect. Yeah, and they were all salt stained. Like, I'm so, so impressed. I'm going to leave um, them a really good review online. So definitely just do that. And okay, a couple more things. These, this is not clothes, but if you guys have not tried the Real Techniques makeup brushes, I would definitely give it a go. This one, both of these are, okay, so this is a foundation brush. It's a little bit more, sorry, the lighting's bad. It's really late at night. I never have time to film. I have to do it late at night and use these lights and it's just no good. So this is a foundation brush. This says expert face brush. I usually use this for foundation as well. And I think they're both like around 10 or $11. My one I've had for, I think, three years. And just this morning when I was washing it, all the bristles popped out. Um, I guess it was just attached by one piece of glue. But I mean, if it lasted three years and it was only around 10 or $11, that's fine by me. I just find I've spent so much money on makeup brushes before and if they have the wood handle, the wood always cracks because I wash my brushes a lot. Like I think it's gross when people don't or water seeps into the handle, the bristles start coming out. So I'm, I'm done spending a lot of money and these brushes are amazing. The handle, it has aluminum on it, so it's not going to like rust. Sorry, it, no, it's probably like, I don't know if it's aluminum. It's definitely, it's not going to rust. It's like a plasticky material at the bottom and kind of like aluminum here, but it's not going to splinter or anything like that. Really, really good. And also one more random thing I got at Chapters Indigo. I just thought this would be really good for working out because I really need to get, I like, I do go to the gym regularly. Just, I haven't really been following a routine lately. I'm obviously not really progressing in weights or anything, so I definitely next week I'm getting back at that um, just to see some progress. And I have to cut out Starbucks. That's about the only thing that I have that I could really cut out that is not the healthiest for me. Um, sometimes I'm like all or nothing. I either like the plain black coffee there, which has like basically no calories. It's not that bad for you. Or sometimes I look like like the sugary drinks. I get it made with coconut milk, but it has still lots of. It's not good for you. So I yeah I really need to cut that out and hit the weights hard. So this little book though, okay, it was ten dollars. It says Escape the Ordinary. It's kind of like a marble front. But what I thought was cool, I've never seen a book like this. How it opens. So it opens this way, and. It just has everything written the opposite way. And I just thought you could track your workouts or write down what your workout would be every day, put in a rest day, or you could put um, what you ate for meals, your water, whatnot. I just thought this was a really good workout tracker. So I will try to find that online as well because I think that is really good. 
and now I will show you the try on part. Actually guys, I'm just noticing this doesn't have thumb holes. I said in the other part of the video it did, but this part is so silky soft. And like I said, the, um, the hood will come off. plain black tea but the ruffle gives it a little extra something so like I said look how big it looks like it looks horrible like this but if you put the arms up a little bit I find it looks better if you keep your hair tucked into it and it goes longer at the back but how I wore it, I had like high-waisted jeans on. Let me test it. And I don't know. Now, of course, I can't do it. Yeah. When you get it right, it looks good, but it is very big. It's just a comfy shirt. Comfy, oversized, basic shirt. The arms are all so big though, they don't stay up and I'm not a small person, so just keep that in mind. So this is that um, uh, oversized sweater from Zara. So this is a size small, keep that in mind, I'll show you. Again, I feel like this is the one Maria had on. <sighs> like, look, guys, look how huge the small is. So this, you definitely have to tuck up at the front. So you need like jeans, high-waisted jeans, or um, leggings. I would say if you had like a nice belt, that would look good. Oh my God, it's almost like too much to tuck. But you get the gist of it. Why can I never tuck things on camera? There, I'm kind of. Again, you can like ruch it up a little bit. But yeah, I think this would be a good, like, just like going over to someone's um, house for dinner, holidays kind of shirt. Mm -hmm.
It's really nice and soft though, not itchy at all, which is great. So these are the gray leggings. You can see they come up really, really high. And here's the navy. Just basic. And here's that bodysuit. Again, I'd like it to be a little tighter here just so it holds your chest up more, but overall not bad. And the, the back it goes down like that. It's a good, like, good basic piece. Sorry guys, I realized I forgot to try on the Aritzia, the t-shirt, but it just looks like that. It's like a boxy kind of crop top, so I just have like old jogging pants on and a tank top underneath. I'm going to fake tan in a second, so these, it's funny, my boyfriend calls these the potato sack jogging pants from Aerie, but I just keep them. You have to have like one pair of old jogging pants, I feel, for like cleaning or be put on like self-tanner, but anyway. So that's just what it looks like. It also looks cute if you kind of were to tie it up in the front. You know, you get the idea. Or off to the side. It's nice and, and loose that you can do that. And this is a size small. It has a little pocket here. It's just a little bit damp right now but from the, um, the washing machine. So it might not look, you know, perfectly steamed, but that's fine. 